Today we're talking about the seven day window of weirdness, disbelief, and maybe a little bit of physical discomfort, but not too much. And in fact, we want to feel good. The seven day window of changing your eating habits to try it out. So I'm saying this because I recently am working with a client, another guy who is trying to gain weight. Now he is stuck. He is stuck. And so he needs to change his eating habits. And the beautiful part, at least for my case, he reached out to me because he was going to the gym. He knew right his, uh, he knew his way around the gym. He was already working out, but he was frustrated because he wasn't gaining weight. His appearance wasn't changing. He, he wasn't getting bigger and stronger. And since he was already working hard at the gym, he knew it had to come to his eating habits. And so he somehow found me and you know, he knew I was an eating coach who helped people with their eating habits. And so we sat down and we talked about what he needed to do to change his eating habits to gain weight. And the number one thing that I could see him talk to, to uh, get, get confused about, and the, the thing that was giving him a little fear, and we talked about it, was eating more food we started talking about how much more food is he going to really need to eat? And I could see the fear in his, the way he was talking, the uncertainty. And I remember that as well. And so I want to share a story today about how I started uh, around 120 to 130 pounds and how I struggled gaining weight, how I struggled changing my eating habits to see results. And then the critical conversation I had, which ultimately gave me the confidence to give this seven day window a shot and how I ultimately gained 30 to 40 pounds of, uh, of a little bit of fat, but mostly muscle. Okay. So the seven day window, when you change your eating habits, like no matter if you're eating more, more healthy foods or, or, or less or, or whatever, whenever you change your eating habits, it's gonna feel weird. And it's really important that we distinguish between this mental feeling of weird, of disbelief, versus the actual physical feeling of weird. Because whenever you change your eating patterns, you're gonna feel like mentally weird. Like I remember, um, I had been struggling to gain weight. Uh, was this, I was a skinny guy, like really skinny. Really skinny. This was after I had stopped binge eating, but I wasn't eating enough. I I started taking myself, I had started taking care of myself better, started eating more regularly, but it's not like my weight changed. I was just even keeled now, but I was still skinny as all hell. And so I remember when I started working as a trainer years ago, that you know I saw all these buff trainers around me in the gym, and I said, okay, I gotta, I wanna, I wanna get that way, and. I started working out at the gym. And I come from a background of wrestling and sports, so I already knew how to work out. But my weight wouldn't go up. I remember like a month or, or two months, maybe six weeks go by, and I'm stuck at like 130. And I look, and I talk to one of my trainer friends there. His name is Chris. And I, I go to Chris, I said, Chris, man, What's up, dude? I'm eating more food. I know that to gain weight, I got to eat more food and lift weights. So what's going on, man? Like, ah, dude, I feel so annoyed. I feel so frustrated. And the way he looked at me and said, bro, you got to eat more. You got to eat more. I know it's going to be weird, but you got to eat way more. And the way he said it impacted me. I trusted him. And... I remember going home and saying, okay, I'm, I'm really gonna do this. I'm really gonna eat more. And so I started uh, cooking up, cutting up a whole sweet potato. I started adding to my diet, my daily nutrition, a whole sweet potato at night. I cook it up, I microwave it. I started adding uh, full fat Greek yogurt and nuts to my oatmeal in the morning. I switched over from that sugary crap oatmeal to the whole grain oatmeal. Um, for lunch, I was doing a whole avocado and some eggs. 
and a, a slice of bread. And then I also had like these little um, protein snacks. And I remember thinking, thinking for, and not feeling, but thinking, holy crap, this, this, is, this is weird, this is, this is bizarre. Like I cannot believe I'm actually eating this much food and I'm not gonna explode. I'm not gonna pop open like a balloon. And the key thing was though, I paid attention to how I felt for a week. And I don't even think it lasted a week, but by the end of the week, I was used to the new food routine. So maybe the first three days, I was feeling really kind of like, whoa, I cannot believe I am eating this much food, like my God. But my stomach didn't mind. My stomach actually wanted it. Meaning, I was getting more full than I'd ever been in my whole life. But I never got uncomfortably full. Like, I never had to lay down. I never felt sick to my stomach or that I was too bloated. But previously, I was never full. I was never eating enough. I didn't even know what fullness was. And now I was learning what comfortable fullness meant. And while mentally the first few days I was kind of like, whoa, what's going on? By the end of the week, I'd gotten used to it and my goals were to gain weight. Now, um, the key thing I want to emphasize is you, whenever you change your eating plans, you're going to have a, a mental feeling of disbelief. It's just like, what? Like, it's different than what you're used to. Yes, absolutely. And to stay, pay attention to how your body feels, especially fullness, because Fullness is so important. Fullness is so important. <laughs> the reason I, I'm talking about fullness especially is because you can think you feel good. This is an illusion, but you can get tricked into thinking you feel good for one week of dieting or more. But as we know, dieting always backfires. But it, if you are starting a diet where you're basically eating less food, you can be deceived mentally that this that not getting full is good. You can trick yourself and say, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not full, I'm, but I feel great. And so whenever you start a new eating plan, you need to get full. Now, you don't wanna get too full, okay? But you wanna get full and you really wanna make sure that you give it seven days at least, if not more. Like this might take longer, it does take longer um, to really get used to this. Uh, but you, you, you make sure you're getting full. You, you make sure you're, you're not getting too full, but that you're full. Okay. So that's, that's the, uh, seven day challenge. That's the, the seven day secret sauce. Whenever you try out a new diet to, to evaluate, is my stomach getting full, but not uncomfortably full on this. And so to wrap up this video, the uh, person that I'm now starting to work with, he's going to try it. And that's what you need to do. You need to say, okay, I'm going to try it. For this guy, he's going to start eating a lot more. And it's going to feel weird. We talked about that. It's going to feel weird. But the key thing is, is has it worked in the past? Has what you've tried worked in the past? For this guy, he's tried eating more, but not a lot more. He's tried everything in the past. He's tried protein shakes, he's tried, but he's never tried eating a lot more. And this is, and this is to gain weight, to, to be clear. Like this, is, this, is, this is this guy, and he is proficient in the gym, he's already working out, so it's a unique circumstance. This guy is trying to eat more. The overall point is you're gonna feel weird, just like this guy is gonna feel a little bit weird on his new eating habits. And you know, if you're just stopping binge eating, if you're just stopping emotional eating or you're trying to lose weight, the key is still fullness. The key is still fullness. It really is. Um, so make sure you distinguish between the mental weirdness and awkwardness and disbelief about eating more food, but make sure you don't eat too much where you're feeling uncomfortably full and bloated, but make sure you still get full and don't fall for it, the dieting trap. So that's it for today's video. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts. Peace.